Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to this new video, uh, which is based on seemingly unrelated regression equations models. Uh, in this model, I am going to explain the background, the introduction to seemingly unrelated regression equation model, and uh, then I will uh, use Stata data to run the seemingly unrelated regression equation and uh, some others. So, uh, in econometrics, the seemingly unrelated regressions are seemingly unrelated regression equations model was proposed by Zellner in 1962. Uh, this is the generalization of a linear regression model which consists of several regression equations each having its own dependent variable and potentially different sets of exogenous explanatory variables. Each equation is a valid linear regression in it on its own and can be estimated separately. That is why the system is called seemingly unrelated. Although some other authors suggest that the terms seemingly related would be more appropriate since the error terms are assumed to be correlated across the equations. The model can be estimated equation by equation using standard ordinary least square method. Such estimates are consistent, however, generally not as coefficient as the seemingly unrelated regression method, which amounts to feasible generalized least squares with a specific form of variance covariance matrix. Two important cases when seemingly unrelated regression is in fact equivalent to OLS are when the error terms are in fact uncorrelated between the equations and when each equation contains exactly the same set of regressors on the right hand side. We will do that in Stata. The seemingly unrelated regression model can be viewed as either the simplification of the general linear model where certain coefficients in matrix B, that is matrix of betas, are restricted to be equal to zero or as the generalization of the general linear model where the regressors on the right hand side are allowed to be different in each equation. The seemingly unrelated regression model can be further generalized into the simultaneous equations model where the right hand side regressors are allowed to be endogenous variables as well. The seemingly unrelated model is usually estimated using the feasible generalized least squares that is FG, FGLS method. This is a two step method where in the first step, we can run ordinary least square regression for one. The equal the residuals from this equation are the residuals from this regression are used to estimate the elements of the matrix, uh, matrix uh, sigma. In the second step, we run generalized least squares regression for one using the variance matrix uh, omega hat, where omega hat is equal to sigma hat. Um, IR. Other estimation techniques besides FGLS were suggested for a seemingly unrelated regression model and those include the maximum likelihood method under the assumption that er errors are normally, run, normally distributed, the iterative generalized least squares IGLS where the residuals from the second step of FGLS are used to recalculate the matrix sigma hat then estimate again using GLS and so on until convergence is assumed and the iterative ordinary least square IOLS scheme where estimation is performed on equation by equation basis. Uh, but every equation includes additional regressors, the residuals from the previously estimated equation in order to account for the cross equation correlations. The estimation is run iteratively until convergence is achieved. Commenta and Gilbert ran a Monte Carlo study and established that all three models that is IGLS, IOLS and ML yield numerically equivalent results. They also found that the asymptotic distribution of these estimator is the same as the distribution of the FGLS estimator, whereas in small samples neither of the estimators was more superior than the others. Zellner and Ando in 2010 paper developed a direct Monte Carlo method for the Bayesian analysis of seemingly unrelated regression model. Seemingly unrelated regression models are also are so called because they appear to be joint estimates from several regression models each with its own error term. The regression are related 
because the contemporaneous errors associated with the dependent variables may be uh, correlated. We will give an example. Seemingly unrelated regression models are so called, as I mentioned earlier, uh, they appear to be joint estimates from several regression models, each of which uh, have its own error term. When we fit models with same set of right hand side variables, the seemingly unrelated regression results are the same as fitting the methods, the models separately using say the ordinarily square command regress. Uh, because the models have the same set of explanatory variables, we could estimate the two uh, equations separately. Yet, we might still want to estimate them with the Shurek SUREG command because we want to perform the joint test that beta 1 and uh, gamma 1 are equal to 0 in the following uh, model. So, uh, we use this uh, uh, command SUREG uh, price uh, is dependent of uh, the foreign and uh, then we have uh, another equation where weight is the dependent variable uh, in which uh, it is uh, regressed on foreign and length and then we give another command for small statistics and uh, degrees of freedom are uh, adjusted. So, to do this, uh, let me go to Stata and uh, I will uh, open my data file. This is my data file which, have, which I have already um, opened. Uh, in this model, there are a number of variables and uh, let me show you uh, the data. This is the data on uh, various make of cars. This is price, this is miles per gallon and so on. There are so many variables. This is dip, uh, the displacement, this is a uh, foreign or domestic and there is uh, also length and weight and so on. So, uh, let me start with the this model and in which I use the command uh, seemingly unrelated regression and I give both the equation and finally I give the command. So, here is the output. So, these are the two equation. One equation for price uh, with the same set of uh, explanatory variable on the right hand side uh, r squared for this is 31 0.31 that is 31 percent of the variance in uh, price is explained by these two variables foreign and length then we have the equation for the weight where again we use the same uh, two variables and its r squared is uh, 0.89 these are the uh, coefficients and these are the coefficients these are standard errors these are t states these are p values and these are 95 percent confidence interval. After this uh, let me uh, test the hypothesis that uh, the coefficient for foreign uh, in both the equation is uh, equal to uh, 0. So, uh, here is the test value and uh, uh, since the null hypothesis is that the coefficient of foreign in equation 1 and the coefficient of foreign in equation 2 are jointly uh, equal to 0, but the p-value is uh, far much less than 0 0.05. So, we reject the null hypothesis and uh, the two uh, coefficients of uh, the foreign in both equations are not jointly equal to 0. After this, uh, since on the right hand side the two variables, uh, the, the two equations have exactly the same uh, dependent vari uh, independent variables. So, if we run both the equations separately, then these coefficients and standard errors and other statistics will be uh, equal to each other. So, uh, I run this regression of price on foreign and length. Now, look at this coefficient and uh, let me compare this with this coefficient. You see uh, 2801, 2801, 90.2, 90.2 90 and the coefficient is minus 11621 and minus uh, 116.21. Similarly, the, uh, the R squared and other variables uh, and other statistics are also the same. Similarly, I can also run uh, OLS equation for weight and exactly uh, these coefficient will be exactly the same here. So, you, rem you can see. So, minus 33.6 and it is also the same in the above uh, equation. Here it is. Similarly, the other 
coefficient for the length is uh, uh, 31.44 and here it is 31.44 so it means that if we have a number of equation and all the right hand side, uh, side variables are the same then in that case we may uh, estimate these equation separately by using the regress command that is OLS uh, however we might be interested that the um, error terms in both the equation may be uh, correlated across the equation so for that purpose uh, we may um, use a uh, sure and it will give us uh, uh, this command will give us uh, uh, efficient estimates so when the models do not have the same set of explanatory variables and are not nested uh, SUREG command may lead to more coefficient estimates than running the model separately as well as allowing joint test. This time let us assume that price is dependent upon foreign mile per gallon and displacement whereas weight is only dependent upon foreign and length. So uh, let me give this command and here I am asking Stata to estimate seemingly unrelated regression in which price is dependent upon foreign MPG displacement where weight is only dependent upon uh, foreign and length. So it means the right hand side variables in both the equation are not the same. And additionally I am asking Stata to give me uh, a matrix of correlation coefficients. So here is the uh, seemingly unrelated regression equation this is equation for price now r squared is 0 0.45 and uh, r squared for weight equation is 0 0.8990 these are the coefficient and uh, uh, in the first equation uh, two coefficients that on foreign and displacement are highly significant while uh, coefficient on mile per gallon is uh, significant at 10 percent but it is not significant at uh, 5 percent uh, regarding weight this is almost significant uh, at uh, 5 percent uh, but this is highly significant and um, below here uh, we have uh, correlation coefficient matrix and uh, this correlation coefficient uh, is 0 0.32 and uh, if we uh, ap apply brush pegan test of independence uh, then we reject it that uh, these uh, error terms are not independent. After this, uh, I can, uh, if I run a separate regression of uh, price on foreign MPG and uh, displacement, then we can see what happens. So, in comparison, if we had fit the price model separately, then we get these re results. And uh, the coefficients are slightly now different. These coefficients are slightly now different, but the standard errors are uniformly larger. This would still be true if we specified the DFK option to make a small sample adjustment to the estimated variance of the uh, disturbance. So, my dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is how seemingly unrelated regression is preferred to single equation uh, by estimating uh, by to be estimated by OLS because uh, if we estimate the uh, OLS regression equation by equation uh, the error terms associated with the various uh, equations might be correlated. So in that case it is better and it is preferred that we may use or we should use the seemingly unrelated regression option rather than using OLS uh, separately equation by equation. So this is very interesting and uh, you can see you can compare the results you can compare the coefficients and especially when the right hand side in various equations when the right hand side variables in the various equations are different then we should not use uh, the OLS instead we should use seemingly unrelated regression equation command that is SUREG. So thank you very much, thank you very much and uh, see you in uh, another video.